Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace and joy be with you. In a short while, we will be listening to the reflection from Father David Lemebo of the Missionaries of God's Love. Let's be open to the Holy Spirit and prepare our hearts so the Word of God will dwell richly in our lives today. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and a light unto my path. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. In the past few weeks, our team here and a team from a community in Jakarta who are our partners are currently selecting some young people who will work with us in reaching out to the students at the University of Nusa Nipa, UNIPA, and the University of Muhammadiyah. The number of students at UNIPA is around 5,000 people and at Muhammadiyah, 800 people. 90% are Catholics. The harvest is rich but the laborers are few we must ask the Lord of the harvest to send workers in his vineyard. I see many similarities from this ministry to what happened when Jesus called and chose his twelve apostles. They were chosen from among all his followers. They're known personally. Jesus called their names one by one. I also feel quite familiar with our candidates here. Like Jesus' disciples, they are not perfect, but they have great potential. They have unique talents and a variety of charisms evident in their lives. But they are God's unfinished work of art, instruments in His kingdom still undergoing formation. If honed and used properly, it will produce extraordinary results. What is interesting is how these twelve apostles were called to go to the lost people of their own nation, to their own brothers and sisters. The number twelve corresponds to the number of tribes in Israel. Why are there twelve tribes? Because Israel or Jacob, who was the son of Isaac and the grandson of Abraham, had twelve children. So there are twelve tribes in Israel which represent the twelve sons of Jacob. In a similar way, our candidates will not be sent to a neighboring country, not even to a neighboring town, but to the people of their own, of their townspeople. The number of students who do not really know God's love is not small. There is a big task waiting for us here. Maybe you too are called to help us. But this does not rule out the possibility that one day they will go out on a faraway mission. God's call is not a static call, but dynamic. From the Acts of the Apostles and the writings of Eusebius, we can trace some of the missionary work of the Apostles. St. Thomas reached out to Parthia and India. St. Andrew's mission was also in Scythia. St. John went to Asia and died in Ephesus. St. Peter preached in Pontus, Galatia, Bithynia, Cappadocia, and Asia. Not to mention St. Paul, who founded many Christian communities outside Israel. What about ourselves? Do I believe that God knows me personally? Do I hear the voice of Jesus calling my name and sending me out? Do I believe that Jesus gave me the power of the Holy Spirit? Then to whom am I sent? Are any of my relatives still lost? Are there any of them who do not yet know the love and the saving power of Jesus Christ? Jesus said, Go and proclaim 
The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Do I believe this? In the midst of the turmoil and challenges of life that we all face, am I brave enough to be sent and carry the good news with joy in my heart? Let's pray. Jesus, you know everything. You know me more than I know myself. You know my strengths and weaknesses. You called me, anointed me with your power, and sent me. Let me walk by the power of your Holy Spirit so that I can bring your good news to my brothers and sisters, especially those closest to me wherever I am. Help us, Holy Spirit, so that we may feel the presence of the kingdom of God the Father, who truly loves us. Amen.